Hi traders and welcome to today's ACY Securities Forex Market Analysis. My name is Duncan Cooper and I will be your host. Today we'll be focusing on the Australian dollar to the Japanese yen. So first we'll look at the news items coming out for the week and then we'll have a look at the charts. Hi traders, just want to quickly review the news items that could affect the Aussie yen, the pair I'm reviewing today. So time shown in my time, Queensland time. So getting into Tuesday tonight, 7.30 p.m. For the Aussie, we've got the Governor Lowe speaking. Uh, do we do in Wednesday have the US congressional elections. Potentially that could affect any pair. Then getting into Thursday, into the evening, 11.30 p.m. Big news item for the week for the US, CPI month on month, CPI year on year and core CPI month on month. They're moving into the last day of the week, Friday. We have, it is a bank holiday in the US, but we do have, I say moving into Friday, but moving into early morning Saturday, 1 a.m. For the US, we have the prelim UOM consumer sentiment. All right, traders, those are the items that could affect the Aussie end through the course of the week, so just take note. With that in mind, let's get into the charts. All right, on to the weekly chart then for the Aussie Yen. Now this pair at the moment's in rather consolidation period. We're getting support down here. My weekly levels of support are 90.51, the lower level, and the upper level at 91.41. And at the moment, for the last three weeks, we've been holding at weekly resistance here. It comes from this high over here, I believe, at 95.73. So are we gonna hold consolidation? and move back down to support. So are we failing at 95.73 here to simply trade down for a retest of 91.41 to 90.51? Are we just gonna stay in consolidation? Yes, of course, we could break above this level, but at the moment for the last three weeks, we failed three weeks ago, and the last two weeks we've been fractionally short. So are we failing up here? for a movement back down the range. Okay, let's drop down to the day chart and have a close look. All right, trades on the day chart, I've put my support level in here at 92.86 and resistance up here at 95.43. So on the day chart, you can see that we've had quite a number of tests of the 95.73 level, failed here. Then we got short, a little bit higher last week, but still failed. We've moved back down to support. We're having a rally back up. I'm just looking at this area here and asking myself, whilst we're in consolidation here, are we gonna be forming a lower top here for a movement back down? So are we forming a lower top? To firstly move down to test 92.86 day support again. And can we move through that level then to challenge 91.41 to 90.51 weekly support. All right, what I'm also noticing is in the area that we've moved back up to, if I draw a fib from the last high down to that low, we've rallied back up to the 79% level. Okay, just drop it down to a four hour chart for a closer look. Then you can see here, over the last two trading days, we've tested this level now twice. 94.99, which is pretty much the 9500 level here. 9500 level and the 79% Fib level. Are we failing here for a move back down the range to put in the lower top? So if you want to look at this on a lower time frame, today simply look at the 9500 level and can you see a retest and failure for a decline back down the range. Okay, moving it back to the day chart. Confirming the lower top. If we break below yesterday's low, that's gonna confirm the lower top. And the short term target would be a movement back down to test 92.86, day support. By that point, if you're in a trade, you should have the risk out of your trade. And then the longer term target would be to can price move down and challenge the 91.41 to 90.51 weekly support area. And yes, if we start to get a very nice decline 
and an unwind of this consolidation area, we could see a break below this weekly support level at 90.51. All right, traders, so we're in consolidation on the weekly and daily charts. We may be forming a lower top there on the daily, which might just be starting to confirm a breakdown to the downside. All right, traders, that's my analysis for today. Have a great trading week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Are you looking to improve your trading? Join Duncan Cooper, Senior Market Strategist and Trading Mentor at ACY Securities as he shares his knowledge on the global Forex markets. The upcoming webinars for this week, 8th of November, Forex Trading Live Market Analysis. During this webinar, Duncan will review 12 currency pairs, determine the key support and resistance trading levels for the week ahead, discuss his favorite risk to reward trading opportunities, and answer your trading questions. 9th of November, how to become a consistent trader. During this webinar, Duncan will teach the important topics of developing a trading plan, keeping a trading journal, and forward testing your trading strategy. He will discuss trading psychology and the steps that you need to take daily to keep at the top of your trading game. 10th of November, Live Forex Market Review, identifying high probability trading levels. Follow the link below for a full schedule and join for free.